Hello guys, welcome to a new video and as you can see the car looks a little bit different than usual um, that's because we are doing a big maintenance um, when I was at the ring last time the car smelled funny and yeah um, the transmission is leaking bad I knew it was leaking before but right now it's just really bad so we're gonna fix that also the engine is leaking uh, which I also already knew but uh, yeah, it's just sweating a lot and I, why why not just fix everything at once so I have a completely dry car. That's the goal uh, of this. So, But we're going to start with the transmission. The transmission seals need to be replaced so the transmission needs to get come off because I'm going to do the one at the crank side and the one at the drive shift side. Um, I'm probably going to split it up in two videos. One video for the transmission stuff and then one video for the engine stuff. And also, you can see the intake manifold is off. That's because there was oil inside of there. So the CCV is probably broken that we need to replace. And yeah, more little stuff like that. I think I have a list of all these things we need to do. Oh, stuff we need to do. I also got the temperature gauges and pressure gauges, but that's also a different video. Um, we need to tighten the handbrake. Uh, we need to... Uh, the bumper is off right now but we need to make some changes to the splitter bracket so we can adjust it easily or more easily we need to make a carbon plate for the shifter because that's open right now um, we are going to clean the underside which is a bit logical as we are going to remove every oil we can find so once it starts leaking again we know it right away and that's basically it so we are going to start with the transmission um, we need to get the transmission off, so we need to get all the things that are in the way off. So the exhaust, uh, heat shield, drive shaft, I think. So we're going to start with that stuff. Um, it's going to take multiple days to do because I don't feel like doing it all at once. And uh, Mark is going to help me once we're actually going to get the transmission off. So right now it's just me starting with getting all the stuff that's in the way off. And then eventually move on to the transmission and the transmission seals. I'm going to show you how oily it is underneath this car. <sighs> so you can see the engine that's just full of oil sweatiness and then we move on to the transmission. A little bit too much but that's all just greasy oil so yeah it's uh, not nice so Let's try to get everything leak free. So yeah, we are gonna pull the exhaust off and then move on to the other stuff, heat shielding, stuff like that. Okay, now it's time to take the heat shielding off. I think they're all 10, like it's hooked here. Right there, it's 10 millimeter bolts and then that should come right off, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we loosened oh, all the bibs and bobs here, all the heat shielding. So, um, next plan is the transmission mounts, get them loose, then we are gonna loosen the brackets that hold the transmission mounts, so the transmission is fully loose, that's why I got the check stand up there. And then we can move on to the drive shaft bolts that need to get loose. Let me shut the light there. So, you have three, because you have like the little donut, and then you have three that are actually attached like these to that donut. So you only need to loosen three. This is 18 millimeter, 13. So um, I think I'm going to start with getting these loose, then we are moving on to these and then the drive shaft itself. Right now we are taking off the 
transmission bolts. We actually already loosened the uh, hard ones, but like the easy ones are still in. So that's what we are going to take out next. And then we can actually pull the transmission and move on to the actual stuff that matters. So let's loosen the bottom ones. The top ones were a pain to get to, but the bottom ones are easy. So let's loosen these, get them out and then get the transmission out. Okay, we got all the bolts loose and now we're going to actually pull the transmission off. So we're going to wiggle it loose a little, put it on the jack and then uh, get it off. Nice. I filmed for like 20 minutes, but we finally got the transmission off. And of course that didn't film. So uh, finally, it's not that heavy, right? <laughs> okay, now it's time to actually clean the transmission and the... Uh, So we cleaned the transmission, now we're going to move on to the uh, seals. So there are four bolts, 10 millimeter. Just going to... So we basically got all the stuff and tools we need. We needed a uh, 30 mil that could fit over this so we can uh, tighten. The, there's a nut in here and then this needs to go here. And yeah, so we can tighten that. But first I'm gonna reinstall the shifter rod because you don't want to do that on the car because it's annoying. So... So the transmission is ready to go in, uh, basically. Um, all there's really need to do is this, I don't know what you call it in English, but it's starting to show some, let's see, the camera focus, show some cracks. So I need to replace that, uh, but we can also do that on the car. So I think uh, right now it's just, a matter of just getting the transmission back on the car so most of the hard stuff is really done and this we can uh, yeah we need to wait till it uh, we can order it but yeah let's just get the transmission first back on the car and then we can do stuff like this and then put everything back where it should be oh and also fluids we need to change the fluid so maybe that's something we need to do first to get fluid in this thing All right, as you can see, the transmission is back where the car is now. Um, we are gonna install it on the car. So what I did is, if, yeah, I made a drawing of where each bolt goes. So if you're ever getting your transmission off, here you can see what bolt it is. So it's 14 torque, uh, 12 torque, uh, 10 torque, and then you have 14 uh, long ones. Uh, Here's also long and 14 small ones. So I'm gonna show you. These are both 14 and this is a long one. It on the drawing. So it's time to finally put the transmission uh, back in. All right, as you can see, 
the gearbox is back in its place all we need to do now is put the bolts back where they should be uh, you saw in the video it was me alone but my dad helped me and uh, yeah all we need to then do now is put the bolts back and then we can actually start putting the stuff back where it should be so uh, yeah that's great so let's get the bolts in and then move on to the other stuff so I just tightened all the uh, bolts that need to be tightened except this one but we'll sort that out another day everything that should be tight is tight don't mind the mess oh, already. what you are gonna do now is install the little donut thingy mine was starting to crack a little so we are gonna go for a new one just because we're at it three bolts and hook it up to the transmission thank you Thank you Mark for cleaning this up real nice. Um, he helped me also with the uh, removal of the transmission and the seals. So we're going to put this back in and that means the transmission is fully back in. Like the transmission itself. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh... Yep, that's in place. So everything is bolted tight or bolted back in. Um, so that was the transmission seal replacement. It was uh, interesting to do. Um, yeah, first time getting the transmission off any car basically. So uh, yeah, it was interesting. Now we're gonna move on to the engine stuff. So uh, next week's video, you're gonna see me replace the oil pan gasket and some more small bits, painting brake calipers and more stuff like that so uh, yeah if you want to stay up to date with the build or the maintenance stuff on this car be sure to subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye